Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. After checking out the Halafni apartments pretty thoroughly, it's time to head on to our main goal, going to TF-29. Just right around the corner. I, I, I promise I am going to TF-29, but I do just want to see what this place is. Okay, I just heard the music, thought it was maybe a club or something. Rose Garden 29. Cool. This must be it. To that garbage. So where's the director? Ooh. Oh, bowls of so much food and ice and... Weapons hot. Oh, this looks delicious. Okay. Salads and... I think those are all salads. They look great. Anyway. going on? Hmm. Is this place kind of covert? I'm not seeing any like obvious signage. It's back here. Yeah, it's like right, right here. It feels like everyone is paranoid. Is this place just a front? Story item out of the database. What? TF-29 elevator keycard. Used to access the elevator in Praha Davos to reach the TF-29 Bureau. Oh yeah, I guess it is just a secret place. Oh, cool. Alex, this whisper chip you gave me, it's an easy plant. You're heading into TF-29? Already? Our enemies aren't waiting around while we lick our wounds. Fair enough. There'll be a data port on the NSN's motherboard. Access it and then just plug and play. Or plug and record in this case. Got it. I'll let you know when it's done. Where are these people running to? Hopefully they're just getting their exercise. Super high-tech, clandestine operation just in some basement. Aria Argento. Anybody home? What, what, what do I start taking a look at? There's so many things. Let's, um... Hmm. Okay, let's go to, like, the director first and then take a look around this place. I wonder if everybody here kind of knows me. Not hearing any hellos. I've been trying to ID the bodies of the people who crashed the operation in Dubai. Oh, I just heard my name being called Adam Jensen to insert person's name's office. Adam, you're here. You made it in. It's good to see you're okay. Hey, Aria. Yeah, it was a close call. I got lucky. A lot of people didn't. I was here working when the first reports came in. It was chaos. Phones ringing off the hook, people yelling, scrambling to find out what was going on. Then when Miller told me you were there, I... I'm alright. Good. You looking for him? Because he's tied up right now and meeting with Lyon, I think. Really? He's using the NSN right now? Yeah, I just saw him. Oh hey, that reminds me, here's yours. What's this? The card for the shooting range. Chang changed all the codes this morning, said something about only giving access to people he's vetted personally. The bombing really freaked him out. Third one in six months, can you believe it? I just... I'm really glad you're okay. Thanks, Aria. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Yeah, I better get back downstairs. It's gonna be a busy day. Come by later if you want to talk. Copy that. Cybercrime. In the year this game is set in, isn't basically everything a cybercrime? If people are cyber, cybercrime is all crime. 
Last night, the collective published the tax returns of the 50 richest people in Switzerland. Shooting range key card. Okay, I want to go talk with Peter Shang. I want to go talk. I want to look in every single little tiny place, but try to find the main office. I think Singh's got some kind of adrenaline addiction. He plays it too close to the edge. Director. Oh no, neural subnet director. Telling you, if it had been anyone but Jensen on the ground, Singh would be dead. What the hell's going on in there? Jesus. Hmm. They did say that the director was tied up with Leon. I guess I have to do other stuff before I can talk with him. Is this all the agents we have out there? Hmm. I don't recognize any of them. Just off the top of my head. Okay. Well, in that case, um, maybe let's go... Let's start downstairs. I get the feeling, given that we were just given the key card, that we're probably supposed to go to the shooting range to advance the plot, if I had to guess. But let's just start down here and just... My god, people really are just... <laughs> that person just knocked over a bunch of boxes. This place is chaos. Okay. From the beginning. Hey, Adam. Oh. Oh, you're the person that's behind this desk. Let's start here. Hey, Adam, hang on a sec. Filling out supply request forms for McCready and his boys is tedious as hell, but I don't want to give him another reason to say no. Say no to what? Are you kidding me? Right now, you're the only active augmented agent we have. I'm hoping to change that, been asking him every week practically, but so far, permission denied. Really? He give you a reason? Says my stress levels are too high. Told me I should sign up for meditation classes and drag Chang in with me so he'd chill out and stop changing security codes all the time. It sucks because I really wanted to find out who those crashers in Dubai were. I still can't believe Miller gave the gold mask case to McCready. Oh, I'm sorry, Adam. You were there too. You're probably as pissed about those guys getting the drop on the team in Dubai as McCready is. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Agent Singh might have been killed. It could have been worse. That's why I want to find these guys. Maybe I'll talk to McCready, see if I can help. Good luck with that. He chewed me out for asking if I could help with the case. I should have kept his new key card. I don't want him stinking up my range anyway. You were saying your stress levels were affecting your chances of becoming a field agent. Why is that? I have a rare resistance to neuropazine. I need more than the average person, especially in stressful situations. They say I'd be too expensive, so it's not just discrimination that would be easier to deal with, it's a combination of things. Well, that combination of things is pretty bad in Prague, and getting worse. I know, but Interpol was the only agency who would give me a chance, and this is where I was assigned. I have no problem with that, I'll take whatever they throw at me. Good. It took me months of rehabilitation, getting used to the new arm, learning how to shoot again, learning how to tie my own boots. But I did it! And I'm better than I was before. I want to help and I can. My place is out there in the field where I can make a difference. You know that. And if you can do it, so can I. Don't give up, Aria. Semper Fi. Hoorah. After the bombing, when Chang changed all the locks and codes, was he under orders? Was there a credible threat to our location? Maybe. But I don't think so. You know how he gets. Still, he wasn't the only one overreacting this time. A lot of people have been here for over 36 hours, and the state police have not exactly been cooperative. I can imagine. It took several hours before we got the security footage from the train station and the surrounding streets. It's like they don't trust Interpol, it's weird. I can almost understand Chang's paranoia. Well, Chang doesn't trust anyone, especially anyone in law enforcement. Well, if you thought he was high-strung before, the attack only made him more manic. He's making connections no one else sees and some that may not be there. Explosions tend to damage things like sensitive electronic equipment. Right? Try telling him that. Maybe I will when I go speak with him. Well, I better let you get back to work. Yeah, sure. Talk to you later. I did get the social enhancer thing. The augment, right? Yes, I did. So that should really help with me here. 
really help with me. Help me here, rather. Hey, Adam. So I can just like hack these things and just take some <laughs> some of the department's weapons and supplies. That's a bit odd. Uh, I'm assuming the yeah security rating five. I'm assuming it's all going to be super high. Four. Oh, two. I guess I'll go for it. I already read that. Adam Jensen really does not respect anybody's privacy. Let's see, it's gonna attack me from... I assume it can go here from here. So probably here, here, here. From Dr. Jennifer Phillips, Aria, the shipment came in at last. I'll have to leave before you're off shift, so I'll drop off what you need before I go. But I need you to fill out the usual dosage reports on my computer before you take the drugs off-site. Just for today, the password is Neuropazine. Jen. Hmm. Are the drugs more Neuropazine? Sounded like that was important, since Aria needed more of that than people normally do. So what exactly is neuropazine used for? I just assumed it was like an addictive drug used on the street like Neon and all the others, but if it's like standard issue for, for agents, which is what it sounds like then, maybe some sort of performance enhancing thing? Regarding safe not working. Um, let's see. I tried changing the code of my secure storage as part of the refresh you ordered, but it's not working. It's still stuck on 2023 no matter what I put in. Okay. And some stuff. Gold Star for taking me seriously. Someone understands the need for security in this place. Well, oh, we got the password now. From Hans Gerber. Arya, since I know you want to get back into the field, I thought I'd clarify a few things about Mac. He is a world-class prick. Of that, there is no doubt. From what I hear, he's got some bad history with Augs. Not that I pretend to know what it is. Of course, that shouldn't absolve him from being a decent human being, but there it is. Prick aside, Mac's a pro, and he recognizes how useful they can be in an emergency. Thing is, though, given that Prague is one of the most anti-Aug cities on the planet, probably not the best place for an augmented agent. I hate to say it, but good guy or not, the thought of well-armed, well-trained Augs walking the streets scares the shit out of most people. But if you ask me, his biggest problem is Jensen. Normally agents answer to Mac, but Jensen seems to get special treatment. I blame Director Miller for that. Mac's been here longer than anybody, and everybody looks to him. He's the deputy in everything but name, so Miller should stop cutting him off at the knees. So, is it the password for this one? No. This one? Yes. Gas grenade. Why did I just get a little thing for nuke software? The nuke software instantly captures a note of any rating, but with a 100% chance of detection. Hmm. EMP grenades? I haven't seen those yet. Just lock that. We'll never know what happened. <clears throat> Goodbye. Hey, Adam. Oh, shooting range this way. So what is the shooting range, actually? Your inventory will be temporarily removed. It will be restored as soon as you leave. You can use any of the weapons in the shooting range. 
to experiment, identify your preferred range, rate of fire, damage level. Okay. Well, um, wait a second. Why are there scrap parts here? Why can't I pick them up? Uh, maybe that's like a bonus for getting to the end or something. Anyway, I don't really care about this place. What about this book, though? Ah, oh, it's about TF-29. I think we read, I'm assuming, part one. This is part two. Counterterrorism traditionally consists of two areas, pre- and post-incident. With its unique constitution, TF-29 is empowered to handle both areas, removing a step that would otherwise slow the process. On paper, the agency is said to function as a two-way agreement with other worldwide agencies, allowing a conduit of collaborative intel and action. If effective, such an ability to sidestep red tape would give TF-29 a remarkably swift response to global terrorist activity. In practice, it remains to be seen if this unprecedented relationship can survive. Not all are happy with this future of counterterrorism. In the event of a counter, uh, in the event of a terrorist act, agents may enter member countries or states without standard protocol and create a temporary bureau of operations under the jurisdiction of its own accord. While TF-29's behavior remains subject to national laws, some have expressed concerns over alleged loopholes. Regardless, the clandestine agency was given a green light in good grace by a world desperate for answers. Okay, so they can, yeah, they can just go into any member place and create their own temporary Bureau of Operations, which must be what this place is in Prague. I definitely needed those cutscenes of taking off and putting on the coat. Very important. So we get all our stuff back. Yes. Wait a sec. Is there anything else here? <laughs> I can bust open these lockers. Oh, such a dick. Seventeen credits. That was totally not worth it. Given how expensive everything is, seventeen credits is like a penny. It costs two hundred, generally, just for like a hypostim injector, for example. Griffin room. Listen up, team. What's our status? Where was that chopper headed? I have three airfields in Qatar that are promising, but they're privately owned, and nobody can get close enough to take a look. I'll nail it. I got a whole lot no of no will. Every time I we'll get him for you, Jensen. Thanks. I got a whole lot of nothing. Every time I send someone to follow up on a lead, it turns out the buildings are abandoned, burned out, or bombed into rubble. IT support. There was another attempt to breach our firewall last night. So you won't mind if I take this software then? You know, protecting the firewalls. John Guy Cloutier. It's kind of ironic that the IT tech support person's computer has a security rating of 1. So, ooh, it is quite close to me. It's going to come at me from here and then here. Uh, however, these are also really close. Okay. Anomaly detected. Access granted. NSN server room from Peter Chang. New code is in place. I've asked Lena to check everything's good with the lava wall too, so expect to see her soon. And a word of advice, if Jim's been talking to Manderly in there, stay out of his way when he leaves and don't ask him how his personal life is doing, unless you want to be chewed out and made to feel like shit for the rest of the day. This is nuts. In the last week, there have been four attempts to breach our firewall. At least two are confirmed collective. Wait, collective? The Juggernaut Collective? And people here aren't taking security seriously enough because of everything else that's going on. They just don't get that terrorists do more than blow up buildings. Uh, new security protocols changing all the codes and pass keys. Yep. I've moved all your documentation on the NSN. Uh, to the NSN computer itself and change the access code. Okay, we got a password. Oh, 
Automatically generated door keypad code, too. Probably not the greatest security to just send that over in people's emails. So are those empty green dots on the minimap that you see there? Does that indicate a computer? But the other ones are over there are moving. I'm pretty sure those are people. Oh wait, no no no, that's that's somebody above us, of course. Duh. And it's in keycard. Ooh. Used to access the neural subnet server room, and that's where I need to plant the listening device, right? And where does that go? Ooh. Server admin. Security rating one. Gonna come at me from here. Adam, how's it going? Oh. Any trouble with the plant? Patience, Alex. I'm trying to find the best way to access the motherboard without blowing my cover. Sorry, man. Message received. Gonna get me from here. Um, okay. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Ooh. <laughs> New passwords. Server log generated automatically. Even Peter Chang's password. Duncan McCready. Vincent Black. Cool. Three passwords. Now, where does this go? I'm assuming probably up a level or something. Oh, no. Oh, this is just an entrance into the server room, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty well hidden. You'd have a pretty hard time finding that. Okay. See if I can do the plant. Is that down on this floor? Bathrooms. Infirmary. Security holding cells. I wonder if anybody's in there. No, I guess it must be on the next floor. Alright. Let me check out the holding cells. Oh my god. <laughs> Suddenly turns into like a medieval dungeon. Your mind fire extinguisher. There we go. Much more accessible place. God, the security rating at this place is terrible. For the personal computers, anyway. Uh, let's see. Got kind of a long road to go here, 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 here. And eh, it's not too bad. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Oh, controls the cameras. Is that an actual, like, live feed that I can... do stuff with? Intruder tracking? Well, I wouldn't want to turn that off. Current domination is required to use these options. Ah, I need another augment to do that, right? Ooh, I can open up the door to NSN servers. I probably would want to turn off the cameras, though, if I do that. Well, it doesn't look like any of these three cameras are actually covering the NSN server's doorway, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and open this. And this one is the door for the cell, it looks like. Uh, I don't think I want to open that, I don't even know who's in there. Is 
somebody laying down. There they are. Oh, right, nobody in here, they're just unlocked. Of course. Wow, someone needs to clean this cell. Cigarettes and gross stains all over the place. Uh, UN Resolution 3507. I feel like we've read that. Or, yeah, actually, I think we read something about this, but it was in a newspaper rather than this. Uh, it looks like it's the actual resolution itself. The Security Council observing that segregation, discrimination, and conflicts related to the status of augmented humans poses a clear and continuing threat to international peace and stability. Affirming the importance that attaches to respect for human rights and fundamental freedom of all, blah, blah, blah. Lots of legalese. Authorizes the mandatory application of the dampening biochip developed by Tai Young Medical Corporation to all augmented persons. Urges all member states to make provisions to ensure their augmented populations are treated within 24 months. Empowers all member states to safeguard their populations from those augmented individuals who refuse to implant the chip by corralling such people into safe, secure, segregated districts. Gulags. Ghettos. I don't know if gulag is the right term, but definitely ghettos. So yeah, that's the chip that's like the behavior modification chip. Nice little orange. It's very polygonal. I don't suppose I can talk with them. Not without unlocking the door and turning off the camera, which I suppose I could do. Is that blood? They haven't been torturing them, have they? It better not. I'm actually gonna have a little talk with him. So we'll turn off that tr that camera, I suppose. Open the door. They can't just run out of it or anything. They're tied down to the chair. Hmm. Okay, can't really have a conversation with them then. Just, a, just a, I had nothing to do with it. Wait. Oh. Yeah, okay, I guess it re reclosed on its own? Or something. Infirmary? Oh, that's the person that was laying down. Somewhere in this city, there's a mob owned casino in the sewer. Now I've heard everything. Yeah, I think we've got a quest that mentions that, actually. Why is there an unrefrigerated blood pack just hanging out? Uh, that's not gonna last long. Ah, security rating 3. Ah, this is, yeah, Dr. Jennifer Phillips. I've got the password from Arya's place. Nerop Zine. 
new psychologist from director James Miller. Jen, starting next week, TF29 is going to have a psychologist, Dr. Delera Mazane. In addition to providing mental health care to TF29 personnel, she'll be creating POI profiles and assisting in hostage negotiation. When she gets here, can you show her around the infirmary and walk her through ordering whatever she needs? Important security notice. This building is monitored by an AI security system. <laughs> Someone with some credits in the toilet. I guess that's not surprising. The hand hand dryers of the future look like those those like Dyson things. They're kind of shaped almost exactly like this. They already look like they're from the future. Oh, a little lounge. Coffee machines and kettles and a muffin. Ooh, it looks like a cheese muffin. I find it hilarious that you can't actually open any of the fridges. You can only pick them up and throw them if you're strong enough. Someone dropped their burger. Except there's no bread. That's the real mystery. <laughs> Women's bathroom. Let's do it. See if the joke happens. See if the director's gonna comment on this fact. Daniel Fletcher, smiley face? Oh. Yeah, it's one of the gold masks that they had. Try to understand who they were, I guess, research te their technology and stuff. Oh, this is uh, a book by Daniel Fletcher. I guess they're a writer. I think it's fiction, though. That's definitely fiction, so you can go ahead and read this if you want. I'm gonna scroll down. And that's it. Already read that. Security rating 2. Let's do it. Two ones to get. It's going to get to me through here. So we're going to want to fortify these. Hmm. Yeah, this one's a little, a little tricky looking. Let's go for it. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. We might be okay. This one's a level three, though. It's gonna take a while. Yeah, we're good. Access granted. Regarding the long meanwhile, Black Amethyst Publishing. Oh, they're trying to get published. Uh, yeah, that's the thing we just saw. Pro Style's interesting. Um, find the content a little out of our comfort zone as a company. And frankly, we find some of the situations to be not even remotely plausible. No, oh, it's a rejection letter. Where's a good train station? Smiley, one of my friends in state police heard a rumor about you. 
I think you know which one I mean. I'm not going to tell anyone because her private affairs are none of my business. But if you make things between us and the cops worse than they already are, I'll have to let Miller know. You can come talk to me if you have any questions. Debbie. Huh. Lunch? Hey, Sonya. Still free for lunch there? Have a big case I'm working on, but I can still spare some time for your English lesson. Let me know. Yes, of course I'm free. I'll meet you there. Yeah, strange. So Daniel Fletcher goes by Smiley. Things got pretty hairy in Dubai. Like, none of the people are actually here. I keep coming into these places, but they're just not here. It's a cozy little place. Really cozy. Things got pretty hairy in Dubai. No, no. Security rating of five. <clears throat> and we've come all the way back around to IT support. Okay. Let's go ahead and plant the thing up here. So where's that place? Cybercrime. Terrorism, director. Ah, here it is. There is a camera facing it. Yeah, we'll be fine, right? I say as I make a save just in case we're not fine. Oh, right, I've got the password for it. Although, with that password, it might be actually faster just to hack it. K P O X Z seven seven four. Attention, Director Miller. Sir, the last time you used this NSN, the logs failed to delete properly. They're supposed to, but there have been a few peculiarities in NSN functioning recently. I'm looking into their origin. Until further notice... Unless you delete your logs manually, anyone who uses the NSN after you will be able to access a record of your communications, including those of a personal nature. Well, that's good for me. Who the hell is that? What are they doing in there? So, I'm in the front door, but do I need to hack that to continue on? It's up here. There's so many ways I can go. Two different vents, I could hack that thing. Let's see what's up here. I guess nothing. Strange. Um, hmm. Let's hack this. Two to get. They're going to get me from these straight lines. Okay, pretty straightforward. I just literally go straight down these lines. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Yeah, is this where I need to be?
I don't know if I need to sneak around here. I know there's somebody in there, but like this isn't listed as a restricted zone. So where's the thing I need to do? I should probably make it an active quest. Oh, it is. Yeah, it says it's like right here. Yeah, it says it's like right here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the whisper chip is in. Where it's already picking up a freak. Jesus, Adam, is Miller in there right now? Mm hmm. Shit, gotta go. Jensen, I need to see you now. Didn't sound happy, but I can't imagine they know what I've just done, so we should be fine. I'm really curious what's going on back there. All right, well, I think it's a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go meet Miller.